Hello guys, in today's video we're going to be doing my top 10 weapons in ARK. Let's get into it. Right, at number 10 we have the metal pickaxe. It is extremely useful in the game for gathering metal, flint and thatch. It is basically completely mandatory to complete the game. There are things such as the Dodicarus and the Anki that improve on this but it is far superior from the stone counterparts. In number 9 comes the stone hatchet, it's pretty much the same as the stone pickaxe, but it gathers the more valuable resources such as stone and wood. Not, in, not as such in the case of metal though, like you would get from the pickaxe, but in my opinion, it's still more useful as a lot more things you will build will need more wood and more stone than thatch and flint. Right now for our first actual real weapon in the game really. Uh, at number 7 comes the slingshot. The slingshot is very versatile and a big upgrade over the just basic primitive bow. It can fire normal stone arrows like I'm using here, trank arrows to knock out creatures, or flaming arrows for a bit of extra damage after you've shot your creature. Coming in at 6th place is the long neck rifle. This is pretty much just an improvement on the crossbow because it can also shoot trank arrows but it doesn't have flaming bullets, that would be cool to have that wouldn't it? It doesn't have flaming bullets but it has normal bullets, it does more damage, it fires slower, you can't use it underwater like you can use a crossbow but as you can see two shots killed that parasaur, I know it was a level 43 so it does a lot more damage and it has the bonus of using shocking tranquilizer darts which in the base game of arc are the best way of knocking out a creature right coming in at number five is the fabricated pistol far superior from the primitive pistol that you craft in the smithy it has a very high fire rate and also does quite a lot of dps and it's just good for just killing general creatures around the map its ammo is not too expensive which also is really good for early game, like level 40. I don't actually know when you unlock this. Okay, it's unlocked at level 55, but still, at that stage, it's a lot less gunpowder used to get the ammo for it, so it's a big win on that part. Coming in at number 4 is the compound bow. This is very overlooked and not really crafted as much since the tech bow came out, but it's been around for ages. It does a really good amount of damage, it's not the best for taming because it does so much damage, but it is a very useful weapon compared to the bow or the crossbow. Even though the crossbow is the best bow for taming, you also can't use this bow underwater, I'm pretty sure. And this bow comes with a scope, it's a bit like a sniper. And you can also use metal arrows on this, which is a big upgrade in damage of the stone arrows of the crossbow. Right, coming in at number three, is probably one of my favorite guns in the game it's the fabricated sniper it basically improves on what the long neck rifle can do in terms of sniping but doesn't allow you to tame creatures with it there's no trank darts available for the fabricated sniper the fabricated sniper is much better at sniping than the long neck rifle due to its better scope and it can also fire a lot faster as you can see, we killed a thorny dragon there. Coming in at number 3 is the wooden club. Early game, this is basically the only weapon I use to tame creatures. It's so useful for taming things like parasols. I'm running after one right now. Probably aren't going to hit it. But it does a really decent amount of torpor. Even though you can't hit it while you're running. It is still probably one of the most useful taming weapons when combined with a bowler which i don't have for this demonstration right coming in at number two is the pike this is also a really really versatile weapon it's great for killing creatures there's always like sides of people they're like would you pick the pike or the sword i'm a pike person it's just got longer range and in my opinion it's got more durability it lasts for longer Maybe doesn't do quite as much damage, but it's very cheap, very easy to get, very affordable, and very useful in arc. Right, now for my favourite weapon. This is the pump-action shotgun. 
as you can see there we killed that parasaur with one shot it fires six bullets at one time does an insane amount of damage and is a vast improvement from the base primitive shotgun also if you didn't know if you're in third person after you've shot your six rounds it's also got really good range by the way arc has never fixed this so that means it's a very fast loading weapon and it does so much damage it's one of the most damaging weapons in the game it's very versatile obviously because it's a gun it doesn't work underwater but it is insanely useful for boss fights and is amazing if you have an ascendant blueprint but anyway guys that's going to be the end of today's video if you did enjoy this please subscribe leave a like it really helps us out and i will see you all in the next one bye